Hey there, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Today's topic is something that I think everyone can relate to overthinking. It's when your mind just won't stop running in circles, right? You're constantly replaying things, second guessing, and imagining all the what ifs. It's tough to deal with, and it can be draining. Absolutely, Alex. Overthinking is kind of like. Imagine trying to solve a puzzle, but instead of putting the pieces together, you're analyzing every little detail of each piece. Does this piece fit? What if I put it in the wrong spot? Before you know it, you're just staring at the pieces, not actually solving anything. I love that comparison, Emma. It's exhausting and doesn't get us anywhere. In fact, Overthinking can keep us from moving forward or making any decisions because we're stuck in this cycle of worry and doubt. Exactly. And overthinking isn't just about big decisions, it can happen with the smallest things, too. Have you ever spent 10 minutes debating which shirt to wear or how to phrase a text message? It's like our brains are stuck in a loop. Worrying over things that might not even matter. Yes, I've been there. And I think so many people deal with this daily. The tricky part is that it feels like you're being productive because you're thinking things through. But honestly, overthinking can trap us in worry instead of helping us find solutions. And here's a comforting thought overthinking doesn't mean something's wrong with us. It's natural. Our brains are wired to analyze and look for possible problems, but we can train ourselves to manage it better. The good news is, there are some simple ways to break the habit. Absolutely, Emma. One of the best places to start is just noticing when we're overthinking. If we can recognize, hey, I'm overthinking this, it gives us a chance to step back. It's like seeing a stop sign reminding us to pause. Yes. And in that moment, we can ask ourselves Am I solving anything by going over this again and again? Usually, if we're honest, the answer is no. Instead of looking for solutions, we're just worrying. So, that's a good point to pause and try something different. Exactly. And speaking of something different, I find that setting a time limit really helps. Let's say I'm making a decision. I'll give myself a few minutes to think it over, maybe five or ten. After that, I tell myself, okay, that's enough. It's time to make a choice. It pushes me to stop overthinking and move forward. I love that. It's like creating a healthy boundary for yourself. And once the time is up, you stop, even if you don't feel 100% sure. Because honestly, overthinking often comes from wanting things to be perfect. But perfection isn't always possible or necessary. Yes, perfection can be such a trap. Sometimes we just have to be okay with good enough. Another tip that helps me a lot. Is trusting my gut instincts. Overthinking usually happens when we doubt ourselves, but if we can take a step back and listen to our gut, we usually know what we really want to do. That's such a great point, Alex. Trusting your instincts can make such a difference. I remember one time I was overthinking whether I should sign up for a new class. I kept going over all the possible issues. What if I didn't like it? What if I wasn't good at it? But my first reaction was excitement, so I went with that. And guess what? I love the class. Yes. Overthinking can sometimes make us ignore those first true feelings. And here's another tool that's helped me writing things down. When my thoughts start getting tangled, writing them out can make everything feel clearer. It's like taking a mental load off. 
Writing is so powerful. I do this too, especially at night when my mind won't stop. I just jot down everything that's bothering me, and somehow once it's on paper, my brain stops holding on to it so tightly. Exactly. Writing takes the thoughts out of your head and gives you a new perspective. And speaking of perspective, mindfulness or staying present really helps too. When we're focused on what's happening right now, there's less room to worry about the past or the future. Yes. And mindfulness doesn't have to be complicated. It can be as simple as paying attention to your breath for a few minutes, noticing the sounds around you, or just really tasting your food. When we're fully in the moment, we don't get caught up in the what ifs. Mindfulness is like grounding yourself. And another helpful thing is talking to someone. Overthinking can feel isolating. But when you share your worries with a friend, it's like a weight is lifted. Plus, friends can offer a different perspective that we might not have considered. That's so true. Even just saying things out loud can make them seem less scary. And sometimes, a friend might remind you of things you're not seeing. Overthinking makes us focus on one narrow view. So getting someone else's thoughts can be eye-opening. Absolutely, Emma. And you know, another piece that's key here is self-compassion. Overthinking often comes from being too hard on ourselves. It's like we're scared to make mistakes. But if we can be kinder to ourselves, it takes some of that pressure away. Yes, self-compassion is essential. When we remember that it's okay not to have all the answers, it can actually help us feel more relaxed and in control. Sometimes, we need to remind ourselves that we're only human. Perfection isn't the goal. Progress is. That's so true. And another tip that I think is underrated is just taking action, even if it's a small step. When we take action, we break the cycle of overthinking. Sometimes we get stuck because we're trying to plan every detail. But if we can just get started, we can figure things out as we go. Yes! Action is so powerful. It's like telling our brains, Hey, I'm in control here. Even small steps make a big difference. Overthinking makes us feel helpless, but taking action reminds us that we're capable and can move forward. And let's remember, overthinking is a habit we can work on. These tips, being aware, setting limits, writing, mindfulness, talking to someone, and taking small steps, are all ways to train our minds to focus on what really matters. Yes! And if you're listening and find yourself struggling with overthinking, remember that it's okay. It's a journey, and you're not alone. We're all learning to trust ourselves more and let go of the what-ifs. Small steps every day add up to big changes over time. That's right. So give yourself grace, keep practicing, and remember... It's okay not to have everything figured out. You've got this. Absolutely. Thank you all for joining us today. We hope these tips give you tools to calm that busy mind and bring more peace into your life. Remember, it's all about progress, not perfection. Take care, everyone. And until next time, don't let overthinking hold you back. Keep moving forward with confidence. Bye. Bye, everyone.